you produce from the color choices in your artwork. Art isn't just for artists. People use these color schemes, like analogous colors, to decorate their homes. So when you have a house of your own one day and you want to make the colors make sense, you might even think back to this art class and say, I know that analogous colors will feel unified and calming, and then complementary would probably be the opposite. Okay, so you can see the blues and the greens, the oranges and yellows, analogous, these are all analogous. And then this one might look very different, this purple, orange, and red. But if you look at the color wheel, it's analogous. Shafi, are you listening? Thank you. They are still close together on the color wheel. Make sense? Good. Everybody weaves. Now we're talking about weaving. We're switching gears. So you can relate. You can use all those art smart tools that we talked about in your art project. But now we're going to talk about how to do the art project. Okay? So weaving has been around. I hear a lot of talking. We're going to go down to four points, guys. I need your voices off. You can't earn back your five. Talking about it's not going to help. Weaving's been around for a very, very long time. Way back in Peru, they were making weavings out of plant fibers and are dated back to dates in BCE. Super, super long time ago, okay? Here's on the right, girls weaving a Persian rug in 1922, which is almost 100 years ago, before they had color photos or anything like that, black and white. <coughs> and then on the left, there's weavings in ancient Egypt. Those look like they might be painted on scrolls, or cave paintings, that's how old weaving is. Here's a more, much more complicated loom than what we're gonna be doing. This one would help you get your weavings done a lot faster, does a lot of the work for you, but of course more complex to learn. Ours are just those cardboard ones with the slits, but it does the same thing amazingly, All right? Weaving can, be, can look like many different things. These are radial circular weavings. These are weavings with found objects. There's pipe cleaners and coffee stirs, plastic bags, fabric, candy wrappers, all kinds of different things in there. You can be very creative with weavings. You can put shapes in there. People have even made little characters out of weaving. Bracelets, um, ours are gonna look more like this. You can kind of do whatever you want with it once you figure out how it works. Your weavings will look a little more simple since we're just starting out, they'll look like this. Maybe you'll incorporate a shape or two into them, but you're definitely gonna have some stripes of color on a cardboard basic loom like that. So you'll have your warp strings going up and down, and then you'll weave your weft back and forth across the front like you see here. At the bottom of your paper, I'm gonna have you sketch two rectangles. I know I have a typo on there. It says draw a square. You're gonna to need to draw a tall rectangle. So cross out square and write rectangle. It's gonna be a tall rectangle. And we'll do this in a minute. So here's basically what you're gonna to do today. Two thumbnail sketches of a color plan. It does not have to be a color plan that we've talked about in the past. You do have to use one ArtSmart tool, but you have new ArtSmart tools. You can use symmetry, line, shape, pattern. You can use any ArtSmart tool, including complementary colors, analogous colors, and all the new stuff we've learned about. So you can do random colors and then talk about the symmetry or talk about the pattern. All right, just make sure you're keeping in mind what one art smart tool you're gonna use. And it has to be different than project one. Right, Shafi, because we wanna learn new things? Thank you. All right, 